Andural Industries' Fury Drone has stormed onto the global stage as a revolutionary force in autonomous combat aviation, blending cutting-edge technology with a disruptive vision that challenges the status quo of defense manufacturing. Unveiled internationally with a full-scale model at the Avalon Air Show in March 2025, this Group 5 unmanned aerial system, the largest and most capable category, embodies Andural's mission to deliver advanced, affordable solutions for modern warfare. Designed as a multi-mission autonomous air vehicle, Fury achieves near supersonic speeds of Mach 0.95, sustains 9G maneuvers, and features a stealthy, jet-powered airframe that rivals the performance of manned fighters at a fraction of their cost, potentially as low as 10% of an F-35's price tag. Powered by a commercial jet engine and integrated with Andural's Lattice AI operating system, it offers unparalleled autonomy enabling a single operator to orchestrate multiple drones across missions like air-to-air -air combat, electronic warfare, surveillance, and strikes. Its open architecture accommodates third-party sensors and weapons, ensuring adaptability, while its low-maintenance design, with cycles up to 8,000 hours, streamlines logistics and slashes operational costs. This fusion of agility, affordability, and versatility positions Fury as a transformative asset in contested skies. Fury's development is a tale of ingenuity and strategic acquisition, rooted in Blue Force Technologies' late 2010s Grackle project. Blue Force, a North Carolina aerospace outfit, piqued U.S. Air Force interest, particularly from Gen. James Mike Holmes of Air Combat Command, with its focus on advanced composites and propulsion. By early 2023, it had validated a novel carbon fiber composite system with the Air Force Research Laboratory. Andoral's September 2023 acquisition of Blue Force melded this hardware expertise with its software prowess, catapulting Fury, designated YFQ-44A, into a new phase. Ground tests and flight software trials followed, bolstered by smaller clay pigeon jets that honed its autonomy. Leveraging rapid prototyping and digital engineering, Andoral has compressed development timelines, a hallmark of its outsider approach. Now a linchpin in the U.S. Air Force's Collaborative Combat Aircraft Program, the CCA, Fury is slated for its first full-scale test flights in 2025, squaring off against General Atomics for a production nod by fiscal year 2026. This accelerated path reflects Andrel's ethos of agility over bureaucracy. As a CCA, or loyal wingman, Fury is engineered to amplify fifth and sixth generation fighters like the F-35 and next generation air dominance platforms. In the US Air Force's Increment 1 CCA effort, it prioritizes air-to-air -air combat, enhancing manned formations with firepower and autonomy, either independently or under human command. Its modular design, however, broadens its scope to electronic warfare, intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, and potential air-to-ground strikes, with stealth and adversary-mimicking capabilities suiting it for adversary air training via the AFRL's Bandit program. Globally, Andoral markets Fury as a versatile, scalable solution, spotlighted at Avalon 2025 for the Royal Australian Air Force. David Goodrich, CEO of Andoral Australia, touted its regional fit floating local production if Canberra signs on, a gambit tied to Australia's U.S. alignment amid Indo-Pacific tensions. A partnership with Singapore's Defense Science and Technology Agency hints at wider appeal, positioning Fury as a regional counterweight to rising threats. Deployment plans are sweeping and ambitious. In the U.S., Andoril, tapped in April 2024 alongside General Atomics, aims to deliver production-ready CCAs, with the Air Force eyeing 1,000 units by decade's end to offset China's air dominance. The Arsenal One facility in Columbus, Ohio, opening by July 2026, will churn out Fury, Roadrunner, and Barracuda systems, targeting tens of thousands of units yearly. Globally, Fury's Avalon debut targets Australia, where the Royal Australian Air Force weighs options, and Singapore, with U.S. foreign military sales potentially easing exports. In Australia, Andoril's local production pitch challenges Boeing's MQ-28 Ghost Bat, 
backed by 600 million Australian dollars for 10 units and 400 million Australian dollars for three upgraded models. Goodrich stressed government approval is pending with no timeline as Andrel eyes a $28 billion CCA market by 2030. Fury's reusable low-maintenance design suits prolonged missions, amplifying its strategic allure. Comparing Fury to the Ghost Bat illuminates a clash of innovation models. Australia's MQ-28, debuted at Avalon 2023, boasts over 100 test flights, emphasizing surveillance and reconnaissance with strike capabilities unclear. Boeing's Steve Parker touted its maturity, its bespoke design tailored to Royal Australian Air Force needs. Fury, leveraging commercial tech, offers cost efficiency, potentially undercutting Ghost Bat, and excels with superior speed and maneuverability. Its multi-role flexibility and rapid production contrast with Ghost Bat's domestic focus, though the latter enjoys testing and industrial advantages. Malcolm Davis of the Australian Strategic Policy Institute flagged Fury's cost edge as a threat to Boeing, while General Atomics, with its CCA contender and 200-unit annual capacity, overshadows Anduril's nascent scale. Fury's implications ripple beyond hardware. Its Australian push dovetails with decades of Canberra-Washington synergy, potentially sinking Royal Australian Air Force forces with US CCA fleets. Yet Australia must weigh bolstering Ghost Bat against Fury's advanced capabilities, with a hybrid model pairing domestic and foreign tech a possible path. Andrew's Ohio hub signals industrial might, but Australian production remains a bargaining chip, tied to Canberra's strategic calculus on sovereignty versus interoperability. Fury's autonomy, driven by Lattice, offers a glimpse into AI's battlefield role, executing complex missions with minimal oversight a leap beyond Ghost Bat's current scope. Its stealth and adaptability could deter adversaries like China, whose numerical edge looms large, aligning with US-led efforts to reshape Indo-Pacific deterrence. Andoril's broader strategy, disrupting aerospace giants with speed and scale, shines through fury. Its Avalon 2025 showcase, paired with US flight tests, marks a tipping point challenging Boeing's legacy and General Atomic's reach. Fury's cost-performance nexus could redefine procurement, pressuring traditional contractors to adapt. For Australia, it poses a philosophical choice. Invest in national pride or embrace a transatlantic leap. As Fury takes flight and Andrew scales up, it heralds a new era in autonomous air combat where AI, agility, and affordability converge to redraw the skies, with the Indo-Pacific as a critical proving ground. 